Hey, what's up, dog family? Yep, all of my subscribers now are called the dog family. No, I don't mean the animal. I mean the name. My name. We're the dog family. Okay, let's do this. We welcome all animals, all species here. We're just all the dog family. Okay, so I'm finally back with an update video. If you haven't watched the tank video, go do that now. Which way is it? Did you do it? Did you watch it? You bet? Okay, all right. So we built a terranium for a future reptile friend and here he is. He's a bearded dragon. He's exactly one years old now. He's a little older, which might be a challenge, might not. I say that because he doesn't like to be uh, held and starting off young, they can learn how to be held easier but hopefully it's something that we could work together with i guess if not uh i guess that's fine i guess he could stay in the terrarium all the time but that would suck uh his name is melon as in melon the dragon because uh mm -hmm. ain't he cute he's so cute <laughs> he's so cute his colors are so cute you may have noticed that the terranium looks a little different. That's because once he showed up, I noticed certain things are going to work and certain things wouldn't. So let's go do that. So right off the bat, I had to buy him another uh, lamp with a heating bulb in it. Now the heating bulb is black. It doesn't give off any light, just heat. So if he needs extra heat in there, I'll turn that on, especially because it's winter time or in the middle of the night because keeping on a light will disrupt his sleep. So he would not wanna, <laughs> he'll get a little grumpy with the light on overnight. I would be too, so I get it. So we have that sitting on the side and it's been working very well. It's been keeping it nice and warm in there. So I took out that water bowl. I kind of figured I was going to anyway. Yeah, I was taking up too much space and it's not like he goes up to it to drink anyway. I know some beard dragons do, but they don't need that much water. They live in a desert, you know, like dry, hot climates. They don't need that much water. What I do is spray some water in his food bowl when I put food in there just to keep the food moist. And when he eats it up, he gets some of that water in there. Remember that plant that I put on the side? Yeah, we had to take that out. <laughs> Not because it was ugly or anything, but Melon, he goes on random rampages around 2 p.m. I don't know why, where he starts darting around the tank. He was jumping on the glass. He tore the plant completely off the side of the wall and then pooped on it. Pooped on it. And then he was done with the rampage. He just was like, ah, I'm gonna go fast now. It was bad. Yeah, we just had to get rid of it. I added that second uh, thermometer, th thermostat, thermo what's the difference? What's the difference between thermostat and thermometer? We added another thermostat on the um, hot side of the tank to monitor how hot it gets on his basking side. Make sure that the temperature is, you know, around 100. Make sure that it doesn't get too hot, which it hasn't yet, or too cool. That's a lot easier. That's a lot better than guessing about how hot the whole tank is. And also that other one is not that accurate. Accurate? I can talk, yes, accurate. So having that second thermometer in there really helps. Oh yeah, a big change you will notice is we finally got a backdrop back there. It looks like a little deserty scene. I did that for two reasons. One, to make it look nicer in there than just glass and two, he was looking back there and seeing his reflection and it made him a little nervous. I guess he was seeing it as another bearded <laughs> dragon. Be like, you want to fight? Bring it on. No, that's your reflection. <laughs> Calm down. I think it looks great back there. I like that. I like that whole theme. Now, one of the first changes that I had to do was the flooring, that substrate. Immediately, I had to take that out. And I said that the last time, but yeah, that substrate was supposed to be a flooring with rocks stuck to it so that when he walks through it his nails get uh <laughs> his nails could get fouled down and everything and it won't be unsafe if he licks it but that stuff was coming off 
There was like loose rocks all over the place. It was really hard to clean. And when he pooped in it, or like any food got stuck in it, it was it was so hard to get up. It smelled bad in there. Like once I took that out, the smell was gone. I had to buy it's a carpeted substrate. It's super safe. It's double sided and it helps them when he walks through it and of course it's safe. He can't lick anything up. And it's easy, way easy to clean. I had to just take it out, wash it, put it back in there. If he poops just a little one, I could just scoop it up, wash that little spot just spot clean it done also that stuff started looking so ugly so like if you scrub a part too hard what are you doing what are you doing are you bobbing at me what was i saying oh yeah if you scrub an area a little too hard that whole section of rocks just come off and you can just see the bottom of it ew so disappointed that was such a good idea but the execution Mm -mm. We added a hammock in there. Super cute. It's like a second place for him to sleep. He slept on it a couple times. He's on it right now. So. <laughs> His original hide. Ooh, hair. His original hide was a little on the smaller end, so I got him a bigger one. Because I already know he may grow a little. I don't know. Probably at one year old, he doesn't grow anymore. But I wanted him to fit well in there instead of being all cramped up perfectly. And he got a really long tail. It's the exact same hide, it's just the large version. Seems like he likes it. Now you may also notice that he's up. His terrarium is up. I got him a stand that's like perfect fit. Look at it! That looks great. Now he's up off the ground. He's not scared of people coming past looking down at him. Like thinking it's a threat or dogs walking by. He's tilting his head at me. I can't turn the camera, but it also is hollow, so I have storage underneath. I have the dog stuff under there as well as his stuff. I've got two little cubbies. They said you were going to be lazy, not hyper. What is this? What is this? I got him a mini carrier too, so I could put him in there when I'm cleaning out the tank or when we're going on little trips or to the vet or whatever. I put a little bit of tissue paper at the bottom as like a substrate so he could be on. So if he poops on it, it's easy cleanup. Just throw it away, put some new ones in there. <laughs> it's that easy. So got him a mini fridge. See, you're spoiled, man. See how spoiled you are? So yeah, it's a little mini fridge. Um, it keeps all of his uh, veggies in there. So I could just feed him right there and there instead of going all the way to the kitchen. Sometimes I'll put the bugs in there too and like fruit and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. He has like a little picture hanging up on his wall of a bearded dragon eating. I thought it was so cute. He doesn't acknowledge it of course, but it's cute to me. Sometimes he won't eat the veggies. I know that's a common problem in bearded dragons. I was trying to do some research on it. Like putting the bugs on top of it to entice him and he'll eat both at the same time. He does that sometimes, but he's good at picking them out. So I got this bee pollen. I've heard that it makes it more enticing too, or they like the taste or the smell of it. So I sprinkle some of that on his food as well as the calcium. He's been eating his veggies pretty well. So hopefully that, that stays. Uh, the worm thing works a little bit, but he just picks them all out and, and leaves all the veggies in there. So I'm like, no, that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. We're being healthy. Look, I'm eating my salads too. And that's the update. Like I asked before in my last video, please give me some tips. Because, I, you know, I'm new at owning a reptile. I've done a lot of research, trust me. But, you know, just hearing from someone that actually owned reptiles, that would be nice. Please leave some comments. Comment. Down below. Some tips. Like if there's tips for why he starts running around, maybe he's just active, I don't know. I hope it's not that he's uncomfortable or anything. Or how to start holding him. Like I've tried not grabbing him like from above, of course, cause that's gonna look terrifying. You know, I just kind of try to slide my hand under him and just have him like this. But once he feels that I start lifting up, he panics and like scratches. So <laughs> I have some scratches on my hand to trans port him I would put paper towel or a shirt on my arm because I'm not trying to get cut up and I would like pick him up that way 
and put them into that little carrier so yeah at least some tips or anything if you have them if you got to this part of the video you're the realist if you got to this part of the video put a lizard emoji i want to see it i want to see it <laughs> if you don't have emojis put dogs yeah i want to see that in the comments if you got to this part of the video i will know well that's it for this update video i hope you guys enjoyed it um and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day i'm gonna go feed melon comment out